And what I'm hoping we can talk about today and discuss is, number one, the importance of working with players away from the puck. Um, I really believe that right now the players that are coming up, uh, you know, in, in today's day and age, uh, they can skate, they got great stick skills, they can shoot. Um, but away from the puck, I think that's an area here that, that as coaches, we can help these young players continue to get better. And it's going to be something for them when they reach the higher levels is going to be extremely important. Uh, for the second player, and by second player, the supporting player, supporting with purpose. Um, and as you'll see in some of the video that we're looking at today, there's a difference, in my opinion, in, in being an option and being the best option. And so it's putting these players in situations here where they're able uh, to think in practice and then play instinctually in games to not just be an option, to be the best option possible. And then lastly, uh, as we look through some practice video here and we talk about this subject uh, with support and with the second player, I, I hope that you can take away the importance of creating uh, game-like environments that will develop spatial and situational awareness and reads. And, and because when the puck is dropped and the games are played, it's fast. And you really don't have time to think. You don't have time to stop. And so if we can be creating an environment that develops that spatial and that situational awareness, all the time, the game's going to become easier for our players when the puck is dropped and the game begins. So what we're looking at here in this presentation is the second player. And by that, I mean that first support on puck or the defender that is the first support option. And the reason I decided on this subject here to present to you today is just because how, how high of an occurrence it is in games and how highly important it is. And that second player has to work. That second player has to have purpose. And so by working on this part of our game, while it's a one small area, it also goes in with the big picture that I think we all want players that work. We all want players that have purpose in what they do. And through the process of developing this part of the game and getting them to think about that, I believe that that can become a part of the identities that we play with. And it's important because that second player, a lot of times is gonna decide, will you continue to play offense or are you gonna be playing defense? Are you done playing defense and can you begin playing offense? And, and it's critical here that that play away from the puck is something that we're working on. And I believe this is something that I hear in presentations that we talk about that second quick or maybe it's second patient, first stick and third stick. Uh, but it's something that based on the amount that, of occurrence it has in games, I believe it's something that it, we as coaches should really make sure that we're working on here on a basically daily basis. Now within this presentation, because this is a, you know, that second player is happening all over the ice and it's important all over the ice, we're gonna specifically look at confined areas today. Uh, we're gonna look at video here, uh, play in the corners, play behind the net, play on the walls, and how limited the space and how highly contested a lot of time will dictate the best positioning and the best options here in these situations. 